switch to milk to complete your regimen of nutrifying activity. If you are making the switch, a very great annoyance video. which occurs often with milk <laughs> yeah. occurs during the pouring time. 1940s adverts. If you tackle a particularly vicious pour without taking the proper care, you are bound to splash all over. Oh, Your nice. whole day is ruined. To demonstrate proper pouring technique, I shall apply my face oh. protector. Is this is how you made me tea. It's like we happy Splendid. few. Now the optimal way to pour milk is to raise the pouring container amazing. and angle it at no more than 45 degrees positively as I'm taking notes. <laughs> How to make tea. Begin to pour. What on earth is this going to be? Oh, oh is it cup it's Cuphead. No way. This is like an Xbox exclusive. I've heard rumours that they might be bringing it to Switch, but... I heard of Cuphead. I didn't yeah, it was in development for years, but it was only on Xbox. I didn't realise it was that old. That is crazy. They what? were talking about it on that podcast. I mean, it's not from the 40s. Don't no! Like, <laughs> they were talking about it on that gaming podcast yeah. I was listening to about Switch Cuphead. System. You can thank Studio in the yeah, it was in development for so long. I liked that top. I was just about to say I want that t-shirt! <laughs> The globe have been it. <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. The fuck is this? Ballet, all while guided by a self-aware banana named Pedro. Using his arsenal of absolutely crazy Oh my god, this looks so cool. Why is he twirling so much? Because he's a <laughs> ninja <laughs> man. Oh, I thought they said it was banana. Was I hearing things? He has the help of banana. Jumping, oh, okay. And swinging while putting the drop on your enemies. Oh my so god. Gunning, I'm like, nah. But you're it looks amazing. It does look good. It's just yeah. My friend Pedro for you. drops in as a console exclusive for Nintendo Switch this June. That's cool. That looks <laughs> really good. <laughs> I'm just like, nah. On way. This is so that looks strange. Amazing. It just. I love all these cute little story ones. Things yeah. tend. Indie games. We've played a few. I was gonna say. Uh, Jesus. You got some really good indie no! games. No! No, you buried me! Okay, this game just got sad. Yeah, you get some really good ones, don't you? You've played quite a few random little ones, haven't you? Donkey the doggies. You are the musher, trained yes, for the grueling Iditarod race. With your trusty crew of Fire dogs, watch. navigate yes. the Alaskan yeah. wilderness to find your Closest way. Closest thing I can compare this to. Combining roguelike and really cool. Darkwood is going for that slow burn on the scare meter. Don't oh, get me God. wrong. Darkwood will creep you out, mm. all while changing the perspective on survival horror games. Mm. Fox weapons, man. I know, yeah. Traps, <laughs> fortified hideouts. You'll explore and scavenge the eerie forests of the Soviet kind of block by day, and down. conquer down in your yeah. hideout at night. With nightmarish forces corrupting the woods, <laughs> wait and pray for the sun to come up the next night. Ooh. The world Where of Darkwood is procedurally generated, meaning locations and events will vary for each playthrough and player. There's no linear path in these woods, so Whoa. proceed with caution and know each decision will impact you and the inhabitants of Darkwood. Really cool. That looks really creepy. Yeah. Darkwood creeps onto Nintendo Switch this year. Oh. Creeps onto Nintendo Switch. <laughs> it's a bad game. Creeps climbs through a window and ends up on your Switch. Katana Zero. You play as a well trained assassin, the dragon. Cool. <laughs> yeah, solve. <laughs> So uh, you don't need to show anymore. Sounds good. Don't buy it. Mysterious powers <laughs> and precognition allow you to both see the future and manipulate time. Whoa. As you cut through each level, Whoa. you'll leave this is confusing. Behind. I must recommend caution, though, since your foes can return the favor by eliminating you in a single hit. But don't fret. The game literally rewinds the beginning of each level for you to learn Jesus. and improve. Yes, that should work. Okay. After a hard-fought mission, sip some tea and try to rest. The next day, in real you'll life, seat on the therapist's couch and talk through your demons. Of course, make sure to get a much-needed refill of your medication before the next mission. Mm -hmm. Now go forth, katana in hand, and remember, leave no survivors. That looks crazy. Katana Zero slashes its way yeah, to Nintendo like Switch April yeah. 18th. Not long, man. It's you just look like you'll enjoy it. I meant the game looks like you'll enjoy it, not this you look like you'll enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess you do. Let's save that joke for the developer. 
Ooh. More foxes. More foxes. I was <laughs> literally on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> Just full of post apocalypse so and foxes. foxes. <laughs> post apocalypse. Wow. Good up. No. <laughs> no. I was going to let you have it. Moose! <laughs> post. Post a moose at no. Shh. Pull up. Oh god. This is going moose. I think he is Link. Why? He's got a bow and arrow and. Cool. <laughs> 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 Looks a bit like Breath of the Wild. No, it doesn't. <laughs> He's got a shield, he rides no. a horse, no. a field, it looks quite open worldy. Like I have my reasons. Monsters, things, you know, Not maps. Miles into the rain and encounter five factions of creatures itching to dominate the food. Well, they didn't look like they the needed attacking. Oh, I was just kind of having a chat. <laughs> I was like, hello. <laughs> oh. And sell them at the market to stock up on supplies. It'll be a true fight for survival when Pine goes wild on Nintendo Switch this August. Genuinely looks like that trying to do Breath of the Wild. Mm, yeah, badly. Yeah, it just does a little bit, just like. But I'm thinking it's time to be some more Nintendo like Switch. Did she just seem to hear something? I don't know. Finally, I'm almost you out of this crypt. But. She's a hoppy person. Yeah, she's hopping a lot. Look at her hop away. That's going to be annoying. <laughs> Look at her hop. I should just... Wait. I think I was called here for a purpose. I want to do again here. What? Zelda? What? What's going on? I was just about to say this looks very familiar. I'm playing Minish Cover at the moment and I was like, that looks a bit too familiar. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Why is this the best thing ever? What? What's going on? I don't know. I was literally just about to say this this looks like a Zelda game. <laughs> Cadence of Hyrule. That's crazy. I want it. What's it? It? <laughs> what, what is it? I don't understand. Crypt of the Necromancer is a game that looks basically like that. Who know what? And it's kind of like music-y, I think. Oh, but... okay. Oh! Well, we weren't expecting that. Zelda things! You were like... We love Zelda that's, things! So I was that's... like, I hear Zelda in the air. <laughs> what is this? That this is weird. not Zelda. <laughs> ah, that was strange. <laughs> 